good morning from Budapest, Hungary. It's another beautiful day out today, like every day that has been on this trip, but uh, went out last night, had a few drinks. Feeling a little bit under the weather today, not much, but uh, the entire time we've been here, we've been exploring what's known as Pest. Budapest actually used to be two separate cities divided by the Danube River. This is the Pest side over there. Across that bridge is Buda. So we're gonna go over to Buda today and check it out and uh, walk across this bridge. See you guys there. We're now here in the Buda castle where the, all the Hungarian kings lived and the church bells are going off with the church. That is absolutely the most beautiful church I've ever seen on the outside. I'm getting ready to go inside and see what it looks like, but I mean, look at that. That was absolutely amazing. The most beautiful church I've ever seen. I know I keep saying that, but they keep getting better. But Hungary is an amazing place for architecture and beautiful buildings. We're now on top of the Fisherman's Bastion. Check out this view of Budapest. It's amazing. Over there are the, the Parliament building where we visited yesterday. We are now here at Buda Castle, built in the year 1265. This has been the home of every Hungarian king throughout history. Pretty amazing that it's been here that long, but uh, I'm gonna walk around and see what I can find. <laughs> I'm now in what I'm assuming is the courtyard of the castle, but you see a lot of lions everywhere in Hungary. I'm assuming that's a very important symbol of their history of lion. Not sure I'm gonna see if you can go inside or not. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like the, uh, the castle is like preserved where you can go inside and see how it originally was or anything. They've just turned it into a modern museum, which I'm not a big fan of museums. They're kind of boring, but uh, I'm gonna look at my maps and uh, see where we're going next. Wherever it is, I'll see you guys there. Welcome to Margaret's Island, an actual island that sits on the, in the middle of the Danube River here in Budapest. Margaret's actually the name of one of my sisters, so I thought I would come and check it out. There's the Danube. We got little walking trails all along the island. I'm gonna walk around and see if I find anything. You can see it's a very wooded island, very quiet, very peaceful. A nice little break from the busyness of Budapest. really hot today I'm getting tired of walking I think there's a little restaurant up here I'm gonna get something to drink hopefully it looks like there's some kind of an old church here 
walk around and see if you can go inside. I'm probably not. I don't know how old, but this church is very old. See the old writing here on the door. like it's locked can't go inside too bad I've discovered some kind of modern building here I'm hoping that there's a place to get something to drink I'm about to die of thirst we've got a beautiful Hungarian floral arrangement I just saw a sign here for a cafe looks like they have uh, ice cream and a little bit of everything. Oh, Ben and Jerry's. Wasn't expecting to see that in Hungary. I'm just sitting here enjoying an ice cold Pepsi on a hot Hungarian day at, on Margaret's Island. I think I'm gonna leave Margaret's Island after this. I don't feel like walking anymore. I'm sure there's a lot of amazing stuff to see, but head on to the next stop. I decided to show you a little bit more of Margaret's Island. Found another beautiful Hungarian floral arrangement. I saw on my map there's a Japanese garden up here. I'm gonna check that out. Well, nobody does a Japanese garden like the Japanese. I've been there. That was a good effort, I guess, but not even close to the real thing. Almost got run over by bicycle there while I was talking into my camera, looking like an idiot. But that's all of Margaret's Island. On to the next stop. I'm back here at the Grand Market Hall to find the family some souvenirs but uh i want to tell you guys a funny story the uh cab driver started speaking to me in hungarian and uh he seemed shocked when i started speaking english and he's he told me that i had a very hungarian face and the funny thing is when i was in romania the cab driver there told me i had a very romanian face so that's a good thing about this face you can blend in anywhere all across the world well I was going to show you all the citadella, the old fortress that guarded Budapest. It's up on the hill. Unfortunately, it's closed, like some other things have been on this trip, but I found a magnificent view of Budapest. I'll get down here a little closer and show you guys. It's amazing. Just got back to my room here at the Hotel Vision in Budapest. That's gonna be the end of our Hungary portion of this trip. Hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. Uh, Hungary's got amazing food, amazing architecture, so many neat buildings to look at inside and out. Uh, the people are amazing, they're friendly. A Little bit more expensive than Romania was, not too bad, but it'd be hard for me to choose which one I enjoyed more. I love both countries very much and would recommend you traveling to either one if you're thinking about it they're both extremely safe as well i didn't i haven't felt uncomfortable a single time on this trip anywhere um tomorrow i'm gonna be getting on the train heading to vienna austria It'll be the third country on this trip and i, I don't ask you guys to do it a lot because i don't want to overdo it like some people do but if you enjoy my videos and my channel hit the thumbs up button and uh subscribe to my channel if you haven't already but uh i will see you guys in the next video